What is going on guys? Nameless here bringing you guys a brand new video and today I want to talk a little bit about Cold War. Uh, it is coming out very soon and it's on the horizon and there has been a massive update coming in for Cold War at launch. Now a lot of people during the beta they were talking about how the game felt a little bit unfinished, the slide wasn't patched and we saw people talking about from the development side of things talking about how that they were going to fix the slide they were going to add you know better spawns they were going to nerf some ars and we have a major patch that just came in just in time for the new game and i think that this is amazing so i'm going to go through it with you guys step by step so you guys can all be up to date on what is changing and what is new in cold war all right guys so the link to the patch notes will be in the description below but you could also follow along in the video but let's get right into it Treyarch tweeted, the Black Ops Cold War, the road to launch. In addition to the incredible single player campaign led by our partners at Raven Software, the all new Dark Aether Zombies co-op experience in the latest chapter. Okay, so it talks about zombies a little bit and then it goes into the patch notes. Um, so they added modes since beta, search and destroy, free for all, hardcore team deathmatch, hardcore dom, a bunch of hardcore modes. All right guys, so they obviously updated a lot of stuff when it comes to Dirty Bomb Fire Team. Uh, they added a bunch of new objectives, uh, different mechanics when opening doors, uh, and they changed VIP Escort as well. You guys can refer to the patch notes for those game modes, but I more so wanna talk about the mechanics and the weapons and things like that that they changed. Uh, they added some new weapons in multiple categories. Uh, they added an FFAR1 assault rifle. If you guys don't know what that is, that is a FAMAS from Black Ops 3, I think is, it was called that, but yeah, that's basically a FAMAS, so that should be pretty good. They added a Bullfrog SMG, m60 lmg dmr 14 tactical rifle m79 special launcher and more so i'm excited for the new weapons uh weapon balance assault rifles they tune the general assault rifle performance closer to krig 6 and xm4 beta performance for better balance across the class so basically what i'm taking from this is that all the other ars are getting a buff and they're going to be closer to as good as the krig 6 and xm4 i personally thought the krig 6 was the best weapon uh, to use and the xm4 was solid as well but they're tuning them so they should be pretty good they increased the ak-47 recoil which was very good as well so they increased it so now it might not even be usable but we'll see when the game drops when we get our hands on it submachine guns they reduce smg effectiveness at longer ranges to counter the dominance of the class seen in the beta yes thank you treyarch shout out to david Vonderhart and treyarch and the cod gods because smgs were way too good smgs should be used up close that's how you have a balanced game and a balanced meta is when smgs are only good up close and you have to have immaculate aim to get a mid to long range shot um and that's just going to make positioning all that more important if they actually reduce the smg effectiveness uh, at a high rate Moving on, LMGs, they increase LMG damage output to improve the effective effectiveness of the class. They increase LMG ADS time. So LMGs are going to be pretty darn good if they buff them that much. Moving over to sniper rifles, adjusted aim assist to feel smoother yet require more skill and position and precision. Now, they felt like there was no aim assist on the snipers after they updated it once uh, from the first beta to the second. Um, and it was pretty difficult to snipe, at least for me personally. So hopefully they made it feel smoother and they added a little bit of aim assist to it and uh, maybe it'll feel better. They slightly increased the sniper rifle ADS times. Man, people are gonna be quick scoping their ass off. I mean, we saw some crazy clips, um, especially if the aim's gonna be, aim assist is gonna be a little stronger. Uh, and then the sniper scope glint will now display more regularly. So a massive update there to all three, four of those uh, weapon classes, pistols decreased. Burst fire pistol hip fire accuracy, um, reduced burst fire pistol max range, max damage range, shotguns, reduced semi auto shotgun fire rate. Let's go. Thank you for that. We all know the doof doof in Warzone is a nightmare. Uh, launchers in melee, uh, melee re slightly reduced sprinting speed with the knife equipped. Um, so that's obviously to get somewhere quick and search and destroy. That'll be nice. Uh, recoil and sight alignment. Cleaned up issues with bullet direction and recoil to feel more intuitive and responsive. In the beta, the location of the player's bullet was always based on the direction of their weapon, which could have a slight deviation to their eye view perspective through the sights. These should now line up better across all iron sights and optics, providing more precision when ADS firing. I like that. The attention to detail, shout out Treyarch, should make uh, just shooting your gun a lot more smooth. Aim assist tuning. Adjusted a number of aim assist parameters to provide more expected feel across weapon classes So they're balancing all the weapons to feel a little bit similar So when you switch to another weapon, it doesn't just feel like some foreign item It's still an assault rifle and it plays like an assault rifle. So I like that We'll have to test it once again when it comes out, but I'm excited for that as well 
Uh, adjusted ADS transitions to make them smoother and more fluid. Adjusted ADS sway to provide more dramatic feel while reducing weapon rotation. Adjusted weapon pushback when firing an ADS to address cases where optic models could get too close to the player camera. Okay, guys, so all this stuff, I know it can be a bit confusing and it's a lot to be thrown at you. And I'm also talking really fast, so I'm gonna uh, simplify all of this. They made the game more smooth. When you're running around the game in the beta, it felt really clunky. You'd jump and your gun would go like that. You'd lay down and it would like block you down you, and you felt like you couldn't aim properly all the time. Getting a two piece was a little bit difficult. They fixed all that. They made the game a lot smoother. The ADS is smoother. So moving from target to target should feel a lot better. Um, and in short, that's basically what's happening here. Um, and for attachments, they added additional attachments. Uh, they balance some of the attachments, update balance for roughly half of the attachments across all weapons to increase viability across the board, uh, rework bonuses and penalties on barrel attachments. So basically the statistics on these attachments will change. So likely the class you're using in beta will not be the class that you're using when the game drops. Okay, so let's get into the movement sliding. They shorten the slide length. Once again, thank you to the COD gods. Uh, they reduce the slide speed. Sliding is intended as an escape mechanic yes or quick entrance into crouch or cover it's not intended to be overused during engagements oh my goodness i am so happy or to be advantageous in close quarters we've shortened the slide length and reduced its speed to address these goals thank you ending a sprint to fire is now faster than sliding to fire yes in the beta it was faster to fire your weapon from a sprint by sliding than by simply ending your sprint to fire this has been fixed so that ending a sprint to fire is the faster way to get your gun up and sliding to fire is no longer faster thank you increase speeds for all mantles as well you guys remember black ops 2 where you could jump over really quick with dexterity and come out of sprint super fast and it had this massive skill gap in that game that is what i'm hoping we get from this i'm excited but that's basically what i'm reading right now is that coming out of sprint is going to be very good which should make the game a lot better and should add a wider skill gap uh, they added some more score streaks um, and then moving down miscellaneous uh, just some more score streak stuff spawns general spawn adjustments across all modes they obviously needed that uh, perks flak jacket reduction by five percent paranoia updated the sound for when an enemy is aiming at you with paranoia equipped that's nice because i barely could hear anything last time uh, improved frag throwback speed stem shot cooldown increase from eight to 11 seconds that is huge uh, and then field uh, upgrades field mic listening radius increased by reduced by 10% yeah because field mics were kind of OP and they would just sit on the map for the whole time uh, and the cooldown got increased 30 seconds which will help a lot in pubs uh, moving on they had a massive audio update uh, you guys can go read through it yourselves uh, footsteps everything is going to be a lot better hit marker sounds player damage feedback sounds it's just a, an insane update they pretty much from top to bottom the game has been updated and i couldn't be more excited for the future um, but i just wanted to get this all wrapped up in a video for you guys so you guys knew what was going on the description will have the link to the patch notes below and let's all have a good time in cold war man i'm excited for it let's go see you guys in the stream twitch.tv nameless every morning at 10 a.m eastern